Hello, Larry Dorman, University of Arkansas Pine Bluff Extension Specialist. Today I will talk about the 2019 Intensive Aeration Verification Program for our catfish. Uh, verification is an integral part of extension education. Our studies in Arkansas began in the 1970s with cotton. We expanded into the other commodity crops in the 1980s. We included catfish in the verification studies in the 1990s and intensive aeration and the higher production growth methods in the 2000s. Uh, why intensive production methods? The industry experienced a severe downturn in the early 2000s. Lots of competition coming in from abroad, particularly fish such as uh, bassa, tra, swa that you see in some of the big box stores. Uh, farmers to survive had to improve their uh, production efficiency. So three systems emerged from this. The uh, intensive variation system, the split pond system, and the end pond raceway system. Well, how uh, the intensive variation works this way. Uh, you need an automated monitoring oxygen system. You utilize small ponds, which are basically six acres or smaller. Uh, you have increased aeration uh, horsepower and increased fish stocking per acre. The protocols are as follows. Uh, you follow extension uh, recommendations, which means you keep good records. Hybrid catfish are a must, 6.5 inch minimum size and preferably bigger. You stock eight to 10,000 um, fish per acre. As I mentioned, six horsepower per acre or more and you try to maintain four parts per million oxygen uh, as a minimum. Uh, continuing our protocols, uh, satiation feeding is required. Uh, the fish are harvested when they reach the uh, correct size of about 1.25 pounds or larger, and the flavors allow. Extension specialist visits the uh, study ponds each week and uh, does water quality measurement and keeps up with uh, such. About this particular study, uh, we utilize six ponds or 28 acres. Uh, all ponds were stocked or equipped with three aerators, two 10 horsepower aerator and one 15. Uh, the aerators are computer controlled. When the oxygen drops to a critical point, the computer sends a signal to turn the aerator on. And if the oxygen continues to drop, the second aerator comes on and finally the third aerator will come on. And conversely, the next morning as oxygen increases, they, they staggered in the way they are turned off. As far as methods, we stocked uh, the fish from uh, March the 6th to July the 16th last year, uh, 8,300 to 10,000 per acre for our studies. The average batch size was 0.132 pounds to uh, 0.601 pounds, so basically an 8 inch fish to something over 10 inches. The results, our total net production was uh, 290,000 pounds, uh, about 10,000 pounds plus per acre. Uh, we had a range of 7,500 pounds per acre to 16,000 pounds per acre. 7,500 is quite low for this study, but basically we had a pond with a bacterial infection uh, and poor survival. Our gross production averaged 14,500 pounds per acre. We had some good feed conversion ratios. Our low feed conversion ratio was 1.88 pounds. Um, we had a high of 3.32. That was our pond that didn't do as well. We averaged 2.29, which was much better than the industry average uh, years ago. Conclusion, these are highly productive systems. Uh, there are harvest issues, however, with large poundage of fish. You can deplete the oxygen when you're harvesting the fish. And with anything, as you increase feeding and the numbers, uh, you increase the risk for losses. Again, I want to thank you. This is Larry Dorman, and if you have questions, contact me. Thank you.